right, you made it, you're here. And we're gonna do some drawing together like we always do. That's why it's called the Draw Along Show. Ah, uh, you could have figured that out. Thanks for joining me. Hope you're all having a lovely Thursday. Wherever you are in the world, go ahead and throw that in the chat. Let's see where people are watching from. Now, quick note, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this on Twitter, uh, I'm not gonna see your comments. So if you want to chat live with me, make suggestions for what I'm gonna draw at the end of the show and so on, head over to behance.net slash live or be.net slash live and that's where i can see the chat okie dokie folks awesome i uh, hope you brought something to draw with today you know some of you probably uh need to get in shape you know we've been sitting around a lot during this pandemic so what you could do is you could pick up a barbell and you could maybe dip it in some like greasy oil and draw with that all over the floor you know and that way you're kind of really working those muscles while you do the drawing um, and if you get in trouble for that, it's not my fault. Uh, you know, I just throw these ideas out there. You take them and run with them. It's up to you. That's your decision. All right, so grab something to draw with, and we're going to draw together today. We've got an action-packed drawing today. It's an action-themed drawing, okay? Yesterday, we did a little bit of storytelling with the cat and the mouse. Today, we're going to do a little action art for everybody, all right? Um, hey, you know, when I was a kid, I lived in Pakistan. Isn't that cool? Really interesting. Um, but I never got a chance to head up and uh, go into the mountains. I had a question for you, though. Um, why are the Himalayan mountains always tired? Well, it's because they don't ever rest. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. All right, why don't we get to drawing? All righty, all righty. To do these drawings, what do you need to do? You need to do three simple things. And they are. A straight line, okay, we all know we can do that. A zigzag, all right, and a curvilinear line. Could be an S, could be a C, could be a U, whatever. You get the idea. Now, before we get started, let's say hi to some friendly folks who have joined us for the show today. Ruth is here, Steve is here, Megan's here, RB is here, Laura's here, Silen is here, Mercurial, Nisha, Jessica, What's up, Vaida? Nice to see you. Afroha and Shruti. Hello, hello. You're from San Jose. That's awesome. Sam is here and uh, Misty. And oh my gosh. Oh, look at all these pe people joining in from all over the place. Thanks, everybody. And um, even New Zealand. Steve popping in from New Zealand. What's up, my friend, the Kiwi? My best buddy in high school, David Bond, was a Kiwi. Good times. All righty. Let's get cracking on this drawing, gang. We're gonna start with a straight line. <laughs> they all start like this, don't they? Gosh, isn't that crazy? Um, all right, now how long is that line? Eh, I don't know. If you're drawing on paper, I'd say it's about an inch, somewhere in that vicinity, okay? Don't sweat it. Besides, you might have to make it a little longer, all right? Maybe make it a little shorter, I don't know. We'll just see how the drawing goes, all right? But right up here, where that, that line started over here on the right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go one, two, three see those lines they're all about the same length right they're stacked on top of each other leaving a bit of space in between each of them all right uh and then we're going to do a fourth one okay but this fourth one is going to go a little longer like just a tiny bit look at that it's not a lot right it's not a lot Okay, now next to that longer one, we'll draw one more that's the same length, okay? It's just a tiny bit longer, gang. Really, don't sweat it, okay? All right, let's connect these. Let's do this. And then we'll just leave a little bump right there for that one. All righty, see what we did there? We connected these, and then we just connected those last two. There's a tiny little bump right there. All right, let's take this line and let's make it a little longer. We'll just carry it this away. All right. About that long. And then we're going to angle it in just slightly all right slight angle in and then back see what i mean about making this line a little longer i'm gonna make it just a hair longer so it's about the same as this and then we're gonna make a nice c curve to connect those two see that all right now here on the left side of these lines check this out i'm gonna connect all of these but i'm not gonna come all the way down to the bottom watch this Zip, like that all right, check that out. Leave that space at the bottom. All right, that's importante. All right, next, we are going to angle ourselves back this away. 
All right, this is gonna be a long line, check it out. Back we go and back we go, like that. All right, um, how long is that line? Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely longer than this one. Okay, I'd say maybe it's double. Maybe it's double the length of that line. Um, you know, feels about like what it is to me. Um, and then right here next to this little bump, okay, we're gonna draw back this way and stop right about there. Now you can always give yourself a nice target to aim for, right? That's always a good thing to do. So I can hit that target. All right, kind of want that to be a little straighter, so I'll do that again because I can. All right, check it out. That's the beginning. Boom, 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 boom. All right, now here we're going to angle slightly back this way, right? It's not totally straight down. Angling slightly, angling slightly, like so. That line I'd say is, you know, about the same as this one. Can make it maybe even a, a hair longer. Maybe even a hair longer. Um, down and back, okay? And then I'm going to cut across this away. All right, I'll make it just a little bit longer, and then we're gonna cut across this away. See that? So far, so good. Okay, now from here, we're gonna angle down this way. Okay, and then we're gonna stop short, watch. I'm heading down this way, and then I'm gonna stop right there, and I'm just gonna come over this way. Leave a nice bit of space right there. And right inside here, I'm just gonna come on down and pop, like that. Alrighty, down and a little notch like that to finish it off. All right, now from this corner, see how we have a corner here? We're gonna angle out this way, all right? Check it out, about that far, not too far, not too far, okay? That line is even shorter than this line, okay? Keep that in mind, keep that in mind, gang. All righty, and then we're going to have a nice curve. It's gonna go straight up, and then curve out this way. So check it out. I go straight up for a moment. I make a nice curve this way, and then I go straight out this way. So we start kind of heading vertical, little curve, and then we head out horizontal. So up, over. All right, now imagine that that line is passing behind here, and we just carry it on a little bit longer like that, okay? Then a little line like this, and then back that way. So up, over, and through, down, and back. All right now right here, I'm gonna keep this one going just a bit, see that? And then we're gonna do a nice loop, watch this. Loop it around. Okay, see that? Loop it around. Okay, now imagine this line is passing through, okay? Passing through, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four and then five and a bump. One, two, three, four, five and a bump. So far so good, everybody? Okay, now remember this line that we started up vertical? Well, we're gonna keep it going vertical, but down, okay, to about there. And then right here, give yourself some space, down again, all right? And now we're gonna do a little line like that, just a little notch, pop up, and then straight out this way, straight out, okay? See how this line is shorter than that one? That's important. Now this line is not gonna follow parallel to this. Check it out, it's gonna angle this way, and then this is gonna have an angle to it as well. Mm -hmm. All right, out from here. Remember what we did over here? We're gonna do the same thing in the opposite direction. We're gonna go bump, Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, make that a little longer. And then how do we do this? Over here we went out, five and a bump. Mm-hmm. You can see what kind of action we've got going on here, right? Oh yeah. Look at this line here, okay? Now, imagine that over here I'm gonna continue that angle, but I'm gonna curve it up and over. All right, so pay attention, here we go. I'm continuing that angle and then I'm angling it around, or curving it around rather, like that. See? Up and over. I know you guys can do that. All right, now, right up here, okay, to the right of center, if I were to, this is the center of this, right? 
to the right of center, right here, we're gonna do a nice little, see that? Like a number seven, okay? Little dot right here, little dot right there. And then check this out, ah! There's a big open mouth, all right? And here comes the fun part, we're gonna go like this, swoop up this way, come down, okay? And then swoop up this way and go one, two, two zigzags, right? Gotta have those zigzags in there. And then we're gonna go down and connect. So there is something we can color in there. There's our action hair. Like that. Okay, fantastic. Now, right here, we're gonna put another little line, pop, like so. And right here, we're gonna put a line, like so. And we're gonna go one, two, three. Okay, and there is our karate kicker. The last thing we need is a little curvilinear line right here. Okay. It's that pant leg, and that's gonna help us with that foreshortening kind of action. All right, now what I like to do is put a little line that connects to the foot, dot, dot. That sort of grounds the figure, okay? And then you can do whatever you want for some action lines, right? And there you have your cool karate kicker. That was fun. I enjoyed that uh, very much. I hope that worked out for you all. Remember, you can always watch these back Okay, they're all archived on YouTube, they're all ar archived on Behance, so um, they're there when you need them. Now, it is time for not favorite books. I said favorite books, but that was yesterday. Today, we have art vocab, okay? And for today's art vocab, we have genre painting. It's a little confusing because you think, well, there are different genres in art, right? But genre painting is actually a specific uh, kind of painting. Um, and in Western art, genre painting was developed uh, primarily in Holland, 1700s, um, 1600s, pardon me. Uh, and uh, one of the artists who is best known for doing this kind of painting, of course, is Vermeer, as you can see here. Um, these were paintings that were done of like everyday life, stuff that was happening around where the painters were living, okay? Stuff you might see, like folks having a drink in a bar, folks taking out the laundry, okay? Just having a, a little get together somewhere in their home um, and things like that, things of that nature. So not more formal, more religious subjects, not historical subjects, but really just what's happening in and around the town where you live. Um, and these are kind of everyday sort of things. And so this started there, but then there were other movements that followed in its footsteps. Um, you have artists uh, like Hogarth in England, who was more sort of a satirist and he would do um, more narrative paintings about uh, imaginary subjects who would be going through um, a typical life in the times when he lived. Um, and then you also have, of course, the best known probably amongst people who like to have posters in their dorm rooms in college, uh, the Impressionists, okay? So people like Renoir and Degas, especially in those amongst the Impressionists were painting a lot of everyday scenes, uh, scenes around town in Paris and whatnot, um, parties, uh, the ballet, um, uh, concerts and whatnot, going to the theater, um, just walking around in the streets of Paris, etc. Okay, genre painting, there you go. Great example by Vermeer here, very lovely. And also I have a second one for you, which is uh, one of my favorites. This is the music lesson. I'll just zoom in so you can see how nice that is. Vermeer, of course, using natural light in all his paintings um, to great effect, really stunning. Um, and also, uh, Apparently, one of the first people to really effectively use a camera obscura with his painting. And we can talk about that in a future show. And I think we should. I think we should, because that would be fun. Um, all right. Now, those of you who've seen the show before know that we always close with an animal and activity. Uh, this is where, of course, you're going to suggest for me an animal. Oh, hang on a second. Before we get to that, we do have to do one quick thing. And you know what that alarm means. Appreciation Station. And today, look who it is, folks. RB. RB, we're appreciating you today. RB, 
Um, actually, at the front of the show, I actually mentioned uh, the mountains, the Himalayas. You might remember this. It was our second attempt to uh, scale Everest. And um, I, of course, had forgotten my Yeti repellent spray. And sure enough, we're halfway up the mountain and a Yeti just jumped out of a cave and was making all this noise. It was really fussy. He started throwing snowballs at us. Uh, but, you know, thankfully, you had packed your alto saxophone in your bag. Most people don't pack that when they're hiking. And you just busted out the saxophone and played a little Moonlight Sonata. And holy cow, the Yeti went straight to sleep. Because as you know, Yetis, the one thing you can do to get them off your back is play a little Moonlight Sonata on an alto saxophone. Works every time. And so he was out cold and we quietly made our way past him. And we were actually successful in scaling the mountain that time. So well done you. Thanks for being prepared. I appreciate it. Alrighty, now it's time to get back to drawing. Remember, for the animal and activity, you suggest for me an animal doing something funny, something strange, weird, bizarre, unexpected. For example, yesterday we had a giraffe that was a burglar. Check it out. The giraffe is sneaking away. He dropped a few jewels here and there as he was making his getaway, right? Um, that's just an example of the kind of thing that we do for this segment of the show. What you have to do is in the chat, go ahead and uh, give me some suggestions for what you'd like me to draw. I'm gonna get my nice light blue color here to sketch with. So I'll be prepared for the drawing and then I'll check the chat and see what kind of amazing suggestions you all have for me today. What do we have? Let's see, um, a centipede reading a book in a chaise lounge. Wow, that's very specific. A monkey typing on an old typewriter. Haha, <laughs> I get there, I get the reference there. I get the reference there, Steve. A snake painting on canvas, says Laura. I like it. A turtle playing golf. Gosh, that'd be tough for a turtle to do. A tortoise playing bingo. We got a turtle and a tortoise. Um, an octopus tap dancing. A bird painting. A kiwi playing hula hoop with its beak. A dog in a hot tub, says Shruti. That's fun. Um, we did a bear in a hot tub once. A dog playing games, Alejandro says. A mouse boxing. Shruti, I like that one. I think I'll do the mouse boxing. That's kind of fun. Um, I love all your suggestions, everybody. They're fantastic. Bring them back again next week. It's different every week. We have two opportunities to do this. Um, so let's see. Mouse boxing, mouse boxing, mouse boxing. Um, trying to think of like a, a pose for that mouse. Um, all right, so one, one foot could be coming forward and then one back, one forward and then uppercut, you know, that'd be kind of fun. Uppercut and the mouse is head is here off to the side uh hang on a minute there we go let's get the right shape there for that ear it's always kind of a tricky thing for me to remember what those shapes are um now let's put the eight let's put the eyes down here one eye one eye one eye there we go okay that feels good Get the shape of the head a little better. Uh, ha, 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 ha. All right, boxing shorts. They're gonna be loose, loosey-goosey. Gotta be flexible. They gotta have those, those boxing shoes on too. So, like this. And um, up goes that arm. And then this arm is gonna have, so we gotta have that other glove kind of facing us like this. How's that? All right, so this arm up, swinging up. This arm here, pinch and stretch, as the old saying goes, right? With your figure drawing, a pinch and then have a stretch on the opposite side. Um, there is our sketch. 
All right, let's knock that back. And um, see if I can, oops, sorry, I gotta get on a new layer here. See if I can make this sing for you all. This ear, and then on the other side, we got that ear. And uh, got to give ourselves some little whiskers up there. And some others right there, okay. Let's really bend that chest. There we go. I'm gonna bend and show that sort of movement, that stretch up and over for that other arm. Okay. And uh, Let's get, oh, you know, with boxers, don't they have those sort of high-waisted kind of pants? Yeah, I don't want to watch a lot of boxing, but I know I've seen that before. And sometimes they'll have something written on there, whatever, but, um, all righty. Little, little boxing shoes on this fella here. Here, the other leg, also the boxing shoes. I know that ex that foreshortening is a bit much, but that's okay. It's fun to sometimes to kind of exaggerate that so that you get even more um, action in the pose, you know? Okay, and now, whoops, get that uh, other arm finished with that glove, and then we'll come around here and get uh, this glove wrapped up. We can't see the rest of the arm, it's behind the glove, right? So, you know, you can only draw what's there. Sometimes we're, we're tempted to draw things, you know, if they fall behind, you really want to draw it. And you say, well, I know it's there, but, you know, if you can't see it, you can't draw it. So keep that in mind, gang. Um, alrighty. Now let's get some lines of action like this. Whoops. That feels good. Um, and maybe even we'll have the suggestion that someone was on the receiving end of that blow, okay? Uh, alrighty, so that feels pretty good to me. I think we're all right. Let's put a little stripe here. On the shorts, just always nice to have a little detail. Why not, right? Let's hide our sketch 
And there he is. There's our boxing mouse. So this is like a, today's was all about sort of a combat situation, wasn't it? My goodness. Well, all right. <laughs> um, folks, I hope that you enjoyed the draw along today. Um, remember, you can watch these back and you can go at your own pace and uh, follow along um, for the You Draw It portion of the show. Uh, with over 120 episodes now that you can watch on YouTube and uh, archived on Behance. Um, so we're going to keep this going, and I appreciate you tuning in. Everybody, uh, remember to take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Um, and of course, as I always say, please be kind. And I'm going to say ciao for now. See you next time. Thank you.